Hey guys, I'm Bill Moore, Production Coordinator at Petzl America. Uh, I'm going to show you a new few products. Um, we have a few products that have come out last year, but um, it's nice to show you the, what uh, some of our new products that evolved from a previous product. This is the JAG system. It's a already rigged four to one haul system. You have two double pulleys on each side. It's already integrated in the system with a progress capture on one side. You have an eight millimeter core dynamic, um, and then covering all of it with, uh, with two carabiners on each side is a sock. And the sock is really nice because it keeps it all compact. You put it in your bag, you go and want to do a rescue, and you have it and it's not in a rat's nest. I know people have, a, have that issue when they get out and it's just all met, mangled and messed up. This is guaranteed to come out um, nice and smooth. And so all you need to do, you have a weight. Come back up. It captures its progress with a haul system, like almost like a pulley, but it's got teeth on it, so it's uh, it captures it really nicely. If you want to pull it back out, you can pull the cord, let it out, slowly let it back out. It's got basically three feet, more like 32 inches of pull, and it's primarily used for hauling in, 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 uh, in short directions. Uh, the best utility for it, I would say, is like a pickoff. If someone is falling on a lanyard, fall arrest device, and they can't pull themselves off, it's a great little thing to bring them right off that lanyard and then transfer them over to another system. Um, I was saying that this is a product that came out last year. The evolution of it is the Jag Rescue Kit. So, people were already putting all this onto their system. And it, it made sense just for safety reasons, just for being able to have it terminated in, just provide one skew. Uh, we have it carries in 100 feet, 200 feet, and 300 feet. Uh, and it's a really nice application for you know evolution of the JAG system, but people like the whole system. But you integrate carabiners, change it over to a ring open, which give, it gives the ID some more ability to move around. An ID, and actually an Axis uh, 11 mil rope. It's a European rope, but it's applied in this in this actual system here. So does the JAG come in different lengths? The JAG does not come in different lengths. One length, yeah, which I, is, what you say, 32 inches of? A throw. A throw? Yeah. And how much rope's in that? Or about? Uh, mm, I don't know. I mean, maybe multiply that times four. Yeah, because it's kind of a fixed <laughs> system. Yes. I mean, so you can't really, you can disassemble it, but you have to use tools to do that, right? Yeah, that's, that's true. So, so you can sell, you can buy the parts individually on the inside. It's a good question. You can take it out if you like. And on the other side, it's the exact same thing. This is the Jag Traction. The other side is called the Jag. Yep. Very cool. Yeah. If you haven't had much, I'm going to flip the camera around real quick. If you have experience using little blocks or like Aztec kits and things like that, twisting can be a nightmare. And so having the, the sock on top of this is really, really, really handy. So it makes it a really nice streamlined little kit. Really cool. So I'm going to flip it back around. We're going to get more new stuff. So if you're familiar with uh, bailout systems and the EXO, I, I'm going to presume that people are not familiar with it. So 2004, there was a fire in New York City. Um, three firemen uh, were not able to get down a stairwell, so their last ditch effort to survive was to jump out the window and they died. So FDNY got together with Petzl and decided they wanted to develop a product that could give them a safe bailout you know, in a worst case scenario. We have a, a product called the Gree Gree, which is a, a rock climbing leisure sport belay device. Um, it's pretty much the industry standard for rock climbing. Um, and they, one of the guys at FDNY said he was a rock climber said this is a perfect integration for a bailout system. So this is what they came up with. It's all one system, hook, Technora rope made of Aramid um, with the rope already integrated into it going through a cleat that is essentially a friction hitch, captive, and an AMD triac lock. Now this is the new version. The previous version was a little bit larger, but had the same rope, same hook, kind of same system. So this just came out, I mean we, we launched it at this show at FDIC. 
And as you can see, it's quite small. It's 25% lighter, 25% um, uh, smaller than the previous version. It has a different carabiner with an, with an H frame, save some weight. Um, the hook is the same, the rope is the same. And the other nice piece that, that's changing is anti-panic function. <laughs> if someone is panicking, like you can imagine anybody would, and they try to just yard on it and yank down, there is a, the system is set up so that if you pull down too hard and your rope is over speeding, it'll catch. You do have the ability to override it, but it's an awkward movement for you to have to pull it down with the thumb. So the idea behind it being awkward like that is so that it's not super easy for you to override the override. Um, other way to, to override it or to like just basically reset it is to bring it back and to pull back in. If you're familiar with the ID, it's the exact same function. Um, another nice benefit that has been increased is payout. So after you set up an anchor, and I didn't show this, but I'll give you an idea. Like, let's say you have a pipe in a room. You want to set up your anchor. They're in a situation where their life's on the line to keep us, the public, safe. And you're paying out rope to work over the windowsill. It's really, really nice. You just need to put your thumb on the cam to, to keep the cam from engaging the rope, and you have a lot of nice, smooth movement. Yeah. And that's a big one on bailouts. If any of you have practiced that, because feeding line, trying to get to a window to get out, is very difficult. But then people. The other thing about the hook, if, you, if you're not familiar with it, is that it's got this nice sharp tooth at the end. And so if, if you don't have anything to anchor off of or tie off like this, couch or anything like that, you can just put it uh, next to the windowsill and it will stick into drywall, brick, and you know, it, it, as long as you have um, rolled out the window and as static as possible, you should be able to, to be safe. Um, which kind of comes into uh, a little bit more of the, the program, which if you're interested in this, um, you can find out through one of your sales reps or maybe one of your dealers. But training is required to be able to use this um, in the field. So that's something that if you're interested, co uh, contact your local dealer or if you can contact your sales rep, they'll help you uh, kind of point you in the direction that you need to go. Sounds good. You want to go to the rescue center? Absolutely. So this is the rescue center. Um, we had a previous version of the rescue center for, I don't know, two decades. And it was pretty similar to most uh, rope grabs in, in the industry, you know, Gibbs, any, anything you think of, where it has a pin that keeps uh, the cam in. Well, we've integrated it without the pin, and you have to pull two sides of it, and it opens up a piece, and it comes right back in. So, when you think about oh taking God, on and off a rope grab, we know that it could be a, a, a pain for some people. It's a really nice function to be able to take it off, put it back on. I know a lot of you ask questions if y'all have any questions, but this, a lot of people will get this turned around backwards because they don't realize which way the cam goes. And a lot of times you had a little cable or a piece of rope cordage that would hold that cam on and it would break and you would have them separated. Well, now it's all solid. It's basically all one piece where you can't mis misguide or misdirect it. And you get it where you don't lose the cam. The cam's all in one piece. So. Right. And if you're trying to bring it back in but you still see the red, that means red is dead. You want it to be in there and ready to go, solid, can't pull it out. Very cool. You think that about sums it up? Or unless you have more. Well, I was going to talk about the roll clip. Yeah, go for it. So the accessory to this product that's really nice for rest situations, do it make it a three-to-one haul system. It's basically integrating a carabiner and a pulley into one. You know, everyone knows that when you have a carabiner and a pulley, you know it's it's a nice system, but sometimes it can kind of get in the way. It's more profile. You want it to be lower profile. You want it all to be streamlined. You all, all you need is two pieces as opposed to three pieces. Just creating more efficiency, more simplicity. The roll clip is there. And the efficiency of this is very high. Right. Right. So and it's not like a, some of you have seen like integrated pulleys that are really cheap. This is really high efficiency pulley. This is a really good pulley. And the cost on it is what? 
Yeah. I think it's like 45. Yeah, yeah, so it's very, very affordable to what you're used to. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, really good oh. deal. The other one, you have a triac lock, which for some of you rescue guys, you'd probably appreciate that, just having that triple action protection for safety reasons. But it comes in both versions. Very cool. Well, that's it. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate you uh, you watching. Thank you.